the the power of the steam. Well, welcome back. This is Patrice Buidibeda for Panasonic Life at IFA 2012. And uh, this segment will be dedicated to home appliances. And um, I don't have a problem of uh, doing my ironing myself, as it's that easy. It is actually really easy. I'm surprised. Adam, you need to help me. You need to help me out. Am I doing everything right? Again, Adam, our expert when it comes to home appliances, so whenever you have any kind of question, he will be the one who's going to reply them. But uh, there's not, not there's that much that can do wrong here. All about easy use. We want to make it quick and fast. I mean, do you enjoy ironing, Patrice? Actually, I do. You, you're starting to it's look like you get into the zone of this. Of course, the, the most amazing thing is all the attention that I'm getting just for ironing. I know, can I you love see that. the crowds here at IFA today? I mean, everyone's here just to look at all the great home appliances that we've got here. And we want to make this as easy to use because, of course, this is most people's chore when they're at home. And what we want to do is actually reduce the time so people can start enjoying themselves rather than having to sit at home and be ironing all day long. So what you've actually got there is the uh, brand new Hydropower Iron from Panasonic that's going to be released in September. And the great thing about this, we're trying to cut down the time and for you to enjoy other things. And the great thing is the one that you're using is using some fantastic new technology. So what we've got here is uh, we've got two models. The first one's going to have a ceramic plate, as you can see here. So I've got the one with the ceramic. Okay. And you've got the one with the alumite. 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 Absolutely. Can you remember the alumite, what it, what it does? Yes, it has to do uh, something with the surface, uh, which is uh, quite well to, uh, displayed over here. Yes, yes. So what it is, it's a hardened surface. It's just like the coating that you get on the engine of your car. So it's heat resistant and very, very strong. And as you can see from the demonstration, it's also scratch resistant. So meaning if you're ever doing denim, with hard metal buttons or anything that you glide over, you're not going to scratch it and cause any problems to your iron. Okay, that makes sense because, yeah, apparently I'm not really uh, ironing myself so much, but then I was really asking, why would you have such a durable uh, sole with you as... Uh, well, we want this to last for as long as possible. We want to give you the best technology and we want the quality there, but we also would like the reliability as well, so we want it to last you a very long time. And the great thing is, you'll notice on that iron, is that it's a double-headed iron. That means at the end of the day, there's no... I don't have to like, turn it around. No, no having to pick it up, turn it around just to get into particular creases or particular uh, places on your shirts or maybe your trousers or anything else. And the great thing is, look at a great job. How long did that take you? Well, just a few seconds, but I'm amazed myself. There you go. And how well, fresh does it smell? Well, that's a, different, that's a different story. To, to whom does it belong? Like, it belongs to any of our team members? Quite possibly, yes. I think they've been enjoying uh, using the shirt. Anyone, does, anyone care for like a polo shirt here? Well, I think it's the one that's it's walking free, around. It's free. You yeah. want it? There you go. It's been ironed by me. You have frisch gebügelt. But it should. There you go. Keep it See, everyone that's happy. how we do it here at Panasonic. Absolutely. Making people happy. So these are 2,400 watt irons. are really, really powerful. And what we've actually done, especially with uh, the 360 degree plate, so as you saw, not only is it double-headed, but the steam has 360 ways for it to actually come out in a powerful burst, yep. meaning that it's much, much quicker, meaning it can penetrate the clothes much quicker and be able to take out all the creases and all the wrinkles nice and fast. Okay. Uh, well, I, I hope so. The thing is, I really am not, I'm, I'm kind of a novice yeah. when it comes to like. I can uh, ironing, see you're a little bit worried, but it, it is a case. It's dead simple to use. So at the end of the day, this has got 310 milliliter capacity. So you fill it up with water, very rapid at warming up. How long does it last usually? Oh well, I mean, at the end of the day, you'd be able to carry on ironing for quite a while. You'd be able to easily get through all your wash loads and a few more as well. So it wouldn't be a problem whatsoever. Um, but of course, it does depend. That we are trying to speed things up as always. So with this, we're just increasing the lifestyle. Okay, then let me quickly get my, uh, my tablet up in Ooh. order to start with the Q&A now. Yeah, fire away with some questions. That's the first one is coming from uh, Stephen Mills, who would like to know why don't your irons use ceramic? Oh, right. Well, we just yeah, slightly I discussed. Like ceramic, yeah. So we do have one model with the ceramic. So if anyone wants to stick to what they're used to, we do have ceramic. But of course, it's not only just about, we spoke about the uh, heat resistance of alumite, it's also about the gliding as well. As you saw, it was really easy to glide over that t-shirt when you were using the alumite yes. plate. Um, and actually, we've got a nice little display just down on the floor here to show just how easy it is to glide up and down a surface. Especially oh, you do have like a that. ceramic one. Just so we have, have ceramic comparison. and we have alumite. Okay. And the great thing is, if I just lift this up, should we have a little race here? Okay. Yeah? Right, so alumite versus ceramic. Ready, set, go. 
Okay, but what does it prove? Just that the aluma, uh, alumina would be faster? It's much easier to glide over the surface. So much okay. gentler to your clothes, not having to use lots of force to be able to get out all of those deep wrinkles. And as I say, the actual base plate, it's not flat. It's not a dead flat surface. It's actually curved. It's concave slightly. And that makes it even easier to glide over the surface, making it much, much quicker. And it has to do with the material. It's not a matter because, you know, this, this could have been, you know, set up or anything like that. It's really that it's the same shape. It's just a different material. It's like on one hand, it's like uh, ceramic, and the other side, it's like alumina, aluma, yes. alumide. Alumide, yes. So this, I think, is the, the, uh, the proper answer that uh, Stephen Mills was expecting. This is the reason why alumini, alumini, alumide, alumide, You're gonna alumide is alumide. rather used than ceramic. Thank you, Stephen, for your question. Continuing with a question from uh, Tobai and uh, Melanie. Iron design. Iron design. I mean, you pretty much said already something about the blade. Yes, well, it is a double-headed blade, but the really clever thing that we've done is, of course, because you have two blades, what yes. we've done is actually at the back of it, if I can turn that around, you can see that the back of it's actually been cut out. So you can see both ends of the iron, making it much, much easier to be able to get into all the creases and all the yes. other surfaces. And the other nice thing, it can easily be set up, even with the twin blade, and then the really nice thing about design, sometimes you get troubles with the cable being tangled up and sort of messed about. So this has a 360 degree ball, making it nice and easy to move around, meaning it won't tangle up. So it's nice and free. Very, very simple. I would have thought of that too if I would design a, an, an iron. And the great thing is we want to tailor it to the individual. So we've done them in many, many colors. So you, as you can see in the alumites, we have the black and we have the purple with the silver and all the uh, hydropower signs. And then in the model with the ceramic, we actually have it in the purple once again because it is such a popular color at the moment. And also in this lovely turquoise blue. And there's many, many different shades of this that is really enhancing the product. But you know what I'm missing right now? I'm, I'm missing a black. Uh, iron now because uh, for the washing machine yes. and the fridges, you always have a black version. But we've got a concept. concept, and you want it completely covered over. Well, so we don't have a concept here at the booth. Not a concept, no, because these are only going to be released into the market next month. So, well, actually, are we in September? We're almost there, aren't we? Yeah, we're already in September. It's the first of September today. There we go. See, I've, I've, it's been such an exciting week so far that I'm even losing what day we're in. I totally see what what you mean. But uh, have we left something out considering the the design? With the design, so as I say, with the handle and the twi uh, twin blades, um, everything's been made nice and simple, and especially with a 360-degree ball on the cable, makes it very easy to use as well. Okay, this here is in order to uh, adjust the steam. Yes, you can adjust the steam, and of course the settings are underneath as well. Um, and then you can change it depending on what material you're going to be ironing as well. Okay. Very, very simple to use. I mean, uh, anyone is there any, a, any kind of material that I shouldn't use steam on? No, 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 absolutely. Steam has been recognized to be fantastic okay. for an iron. And um, that's why sometimes we've been looking to actually add it into other products as well, because we know how great it is to be able to get out creases and wrinkles. And of course, making it nice and clean, because um, where I live, we have very, very hard water. We have lime scale and well, what you have you. you live in Berlin then, because in Berlin we have some of the hottest water there is. There we go. So we want to be able to make it easy to clean the iron as well. So we've got a three cleaning stays, and it, what it does, it gives 140 grams of power shot a minute yeah. to be able to actually eject all the hard water, all the lime scale, and everything out, because we've put in a special material, special substance inside that will break up all the calcium and all the lime scale, ejecting it out so you have a beautifully clean iron, and it means you don't have any white bits ending up all over your lovely suits or lovely shirts or anything else as well. I was just about to uh, ask if it also has some silver in it, because that's what I learned about the fridges. The, the silver silver iron dies it. Yeah, you're catching on really good. No, 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 we're not going to put any silver through the, uh, uh, through the cleaning process there, because we're looking at the hard water side exactly. of things, not the antibacterial so side of things. So lime scale is the only enemy that it needs to be Absolutely. fought here. Okay. Then uh, this is uh, considering uh, the design. Uh, thank you, Toby and Melanie, for uh, your uh, hot topic. Continuing with a question coming from Simone. She would like to know, does the iron switch off when I put it in that cradle on the ironing board, so on that cradle? Well, no, I mean, what that's doing is actually just uh, increasing things so you're able to um, uh, uh, keep it heated and what have you. I mean, there is a, uh, nothing here that's going to turn this off, as you can see. Yep. Um, so, no, at the end of the day, when it's in the cradle, it's still just going to be in its regular position, okay. um, just like it would do, because some people don't have the cradles. Um, so this is just being uh, versatile all the way through. 
So, Simone, unfortunately, no, it's not. I don't, I don't know if it's unfortunately or if it's fortunate. I mean, is it the benefit? I mean, it would be benefit for the energy consumption? Yeah, it could be a, a benefit for the energy consumption, um, but at the end of the day, we just want to make it the quickest process possible. Right, at the when moment. it comes to irony, it doesn't really matter if it's... No, as soon as you finish, you're going as to as unplug you it. As long as it should be on if it's not... Yes, yeah, as soon as you finish with your iron, you unplug it, you put it off to one side, and then it's going to cool down nice and quickly and be able to do it. So Would an right. inverter make actually sense also for an uh, steaming iron? Would it oh. make sense or is it already included? No. It's not included on the iron. No, it's included on everything else, but we don't need to fluctuate the power that much because we can actually do that through electricity using the dial on the back right. because from here we're actually able to choose what fabric of clothes we're using and then it will set the correct temperature for you. I would have thought, that's what I would have thought. That you perhaps like you would include some... Well, I like the suggestion, and maybe we're, uh, we're, we'll see what's coming out, because, of course, this is the first gen of what's coming from Panasonic as on the iron. As you can see, I'm trying to learn, as I, uh, we're trying to make some uh, uh, links towards other products, as the silver inverter, you should You say. can see it's all tying in nicely at I'm the moment. Get, I'm trying to get like a picture out of the, the entire range of Panasonic. But here we go with the next question coming from Oliver K. Oliver K., how long are the cables on the irons? My cable is way too short. Way too short? Well, as you can see here, well, let's take, take it for a run, shall we? So should take... There you go. Fantastic. So not only can you pass the ironing boards, so that's around about, what, three and a half meters there. So is it three and a half? Yeah, one, two, two and a half. three. No. Somewhere around three there. Meter, yeah, something around like three meters. So there's plenty of cable there, and especially with the ball making it nice and easy. So if you've got an extra long ironing board, you'd be easily be able to get around. And even if you need to walk around the other side, no problems whatsoever. Yeah, when you have your trousers in extra large, we will still be able just to uh, deal Can with them. Yeah, the so if your plug or... socket's unlike this one, if your plug socket is quite a distance and you can't actually fit your ironing board into the space, this will be a long enough cable for you to be able to get to your ironing board, not a problem whatsoever. All right, so Oliver K, I hope this is going to be long enough for you now. Time to change. Uh, coming to the next question from Amanda S. The biggest problem, the limestone. How do you fix this problem? You mentioned it already? Yes, we did talk about the three cleaning phase. So as I say, what we've got here, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll pick one up that's not hot at the moment. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, what, is, what is the, oh, okay. Yes, I'm not going to pick up the blade there. So actually, just by the dial, we have a self-cleaning button. And this self-cleaning button will just take your iron, put it over the sink, hit the self-cleaning button, and that's when we have that power shot, the 140 grams per minute with the special substance, be able to clean out all the lime scale and we all the hard water. We shouldn't have demonstrated No, 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 no. Okay. I, I had a colleague that done that, and uh, let's just say it was a big mistake. So you don't want to be doing it over any of your clothes or over your ironing board. You want to be doing it over the sink where it can take away all the dirt and all the water nice and quickly. So once again, dear Amanda, it's about <laughs> the self-cleaning uh, button. This should help you out there. Uh, but we are not going to demonstrate it right now, as it will cause a huge mess. But anyway, thank you for your question, and we're going to continue with the next one. Coming from uh, Oliver K. once again. Fantastic. That'll do. All right. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so everybody's loving the irons. You're welcome. So what we're doing at the end of the day with the irons is we know steam technology is a fantastic technology. And so what we wanted to do is incorporate that into our other technologies. So... Would you like to see some that we've been putting the steam technology into? Uh, of course, that's, that's why I'm here, because I want to learn. Well, let's come and show you then. So, we've talked about steam on the irons. Right. If you want to walk around the corner, we're going to show you some fantastic new products that have incorporated I, I this steam you. Should technology. I, should I switch it off or just... We're fine. Just like that. I'm sure the guys will, uh, will be able to do this for us. Okay. So, if you want to come on round, what we've got, as you can see, it is extremely busy here at IFA, and. Uh, we're now back into the washing machine and the tumble dryer section. But what, what I found the most interesting right now is when you really have a close look, you would expect just a lot of women just coming in here, but apparently it's just a man who are like, oh, yeah, let's, let's have a look at this. Because this is cool technology at the end of the day, and what we're doing is incorporating the steam. So with the washers, and we're going to bring out heat pump dryers, yep. the steam technology, what was the steam great for that you was doing with the ironing? It makes it easier uh, to iron. Absolutely, and it took out the creases and the wrinkles exactly. really quickly. Well, let's start with the washing phase then. Of course, if we can incorporate steam into the washing phase, it means that it's going to be less creases for you to have to iron. And this is why what we've done is a brand new steam technology. So you can see it here. Um, sometimes uh, other brands may steam from the bottom and what have you. 
And of course, we talked about a wash cycle earlier on in the week for the clothes to be able to go up yep, to the top. Which is demonstrated over there. With a 3D it's a sensor. Smart way, exactly. That's it. So as you can see here, the steam, well, we decided because with the iron, the powerful steam shot done a fantastic job at taking out creases and wrinkles. Right. And we're going to do exactly the same with the washers and the dryers. So what's happening here is there's a powerful burst coming straight into the drum to be able to start taking out the creases and the wrinkles from your washing before it's even made it to your ironing boards. But you just mentioned that it's getting reduced, Absolutely. but not eliminated. Not eliminating. No, we're not going to say we're going to eliminate it because for all we know, you may accidentally not be there and leave it in there. Um, so you may end up sort of getting a few more creases and crinkles. And that's why we've introduced a tumble dryer. And because if you would eliminate it, uh, eliminate it, I would be like your number one customer. Yes. Just for that reason. And we wouldn't need the iron anymore. But of course, we still do need the iron, and especially for certain fabrics and what have you. Um, it always requires maybe a little bit of ironing as well. And it goes quite easy anyway. Um, ready for the next question? Fire away. So let's continue with a question coming from um, Matt. Matt would like to know, how many shirts can I wash in the 10 kilogram washing machine? Uh, wait, I just learned about this formula. Yes. What was it again? Uh, one kilo could do. One kilo could. Uh, one kilo? Remember could the math? Four shirts? Five. So 10 kilos? 10 kilos is like 50 then. There we go. But then it depends. Okay, so this one here with 10 kilograms would then uh, give you the chance just to sh uh, wash like 50 yes. shirts. If you're incorporating the steam technology, um, what we're doing is reducing it down. So sometimes it will be around about a two kilo wash. Right. So what we'd be able to do is incorporate the steam because, of course, if we just fill the drum, the steam's not going to have a perfect chance to be able to react with the clothes and be able to take out the creases. Oh, so there's a weight limit? When there's certain weight limits to the different programs. Uh, two and kilograms would be the limit when it comes to steam? Uh, no, not the limit, but uh, for particular programs, a two kilo would be recommended. Yep. So uh, for two kilos, we'd be able to do your 10 shirts. And then for your basic wash, if you wanted to fill it with 10 kilos, it'd be 50 shirts. Once again, by being an absolute beginner when it comes to cleaning all of these things, not, not an absolute But uh, the great beginner. thing is there are models like the X-Series washing machine that you're never going to need your instruction manual ever again. No, but when it comes, but when it comes to, to the weight, as yes. I just mentioned, I mean, the weight doesn't say anything about the volume. I mean, if I have like a, a, a pillow, yes. which is less than two kilos, but it has a huge vo volume of, I don't know, like 50 liters, uh, is that going to be kind of a problem then using the steaming? No, not, a, not at all. It's just because the 3D sensor and the inverter technology will be able to detect the weight and be able to uh, change the drum speed accordingly to spending on the material that you're putting in. Okay. So then, matter to uh, answer your question, it's about 50 shirts that you can put in there. Regular t-shirts, I would say. Yeah. OK, then, Matt, thank you for your question. Continuing with a question coming from Hubert. Are the machines just white? No, we've uh, incorporated a couple of different colors to be able to uh, blend in with the rest of your premium Panasonic range. So what we've actually done is you can see this is our top end washer, uh, and this has a chrome finish around the edge. The outside of the drum is white, um, but we also incorporate on other models sort of a gunmetal and other sort of colors as well. And we're going to talk a little bit later, right at the end, about another special concept that Panasonic are looking at. So okay, we're going to look at it? Oh, I was just about to say, like, I want to see it right now, but okay. We'll save that for the finale, shall we? So stay tuned. We're yes. going to watch you. Uh, we're going to show it to you like, later on. So now, white is not the only option. Continuing um, with Andrew, where are the lint filters on your tumble dryers? Great question. And actually, we've got a tumble dryer just over the side. Uh, over so if there. you want to take a little trip, we're going to show you just where no, everything no, no, is. No, 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 please don't. Sorry there. So. These are going to be the two tumble dryers that are going to come to the market. We've got our regular tumble dryer, and then we've got our tumble dryer with our steam technology, which is what the hot topic is. A tumble dryer again with the steam? So once again, reduce the wrinkles in your washing machine. But does it make sense like double steaming, steaming in, first of all in the washing machine, and then steam again in the dryer? Well, let's say you've just been out for a meal, yeah. and then you need to go out to a party. Say you've been to a Chinese restaurant, or maybe you're a smoker, or some sort of odors have gone on your shirts or your clothes. Yep. With these products, we have a refresh mode, a freshen up. So it won't need to dry it because your clothes are already dry. But what it will do is remove the odors 
from your clothes and freshen them up so you can quickly pop it back on and be straight back out to your party or anywhere else. Okay, so that, okay, that makes sense. And about the filter that, the uh, filters? that has been asked by Andrew. So we have two lint filters. The first one is at the top. So as you can see, nice and easy to get to, nice and easy to be washable as well. Yep. And then the second one is actually just underneath here. We can pop this out and I'm just going to go down to my knees. And there we go. And there You're we go. I know, my apologies. So there you go. We have our two lint filters, and this ensures that everything's removed and keeping it as eco-friendly as possible. And how many times, I mean, this is like after uh, every use, you're supposed to clean this one. What about this one? No, no, with these ones, you can uh, it's, uh, just uh, every so often, just keep an eye on them. Yeah, it's not a sort of a regular thing, because of course, with different materials, different clothes, and different locations will depend on what you'll need to change. So as you can see, very, very easy to get to, and very obvious as well. Oh, let me see. Oh. New, oh. Ta -da. Very simple. That was easy. I'm a pro. And of course, we talked about the, uh, the freshen up mode earlier, didn't we? Um, of course, what we need to do is add some water because we've not actually incorporated anything there. So where you do this is actually on the steam product. And it's just down here. So you can add a little bit of water. There's a hot plate. So imagine a frying pan. Like tap water or yeah, tap do you water need some fine? special No, foods? no special mineral water. No French mineral water. No, oil. you don't need anything special. And then if you imagine there's like a frying plate on there. And then what it will do is it will put little bits of water on it. And that will make the steam very, very rapid and very, very quick. Allowing you to freshen up your clothes instantly. Well, that would be nice. That, that could be something for me. Very useful and very helpful. Very easy to use, as you can see. This, this is actually a pretty good idea with the steam within the, the dryer. Absolutely. I have to admit that. So, Andrew, we found your filters, as you could see. Thank you for your question. Continuing with the question coming from Ferdinand. Ferdinand would like to know, why don't you have a glass door on your tumble dryers? It's a great question at the end of the day because we do have... Because you wouldn't be able just to see through the, the filter? No. Uh, yeah. You wouldn't <laughs> be able to see through the filter. The, the reason we've put the filters here as well is because of the airflow, the vortex inside. We want to use that hot air right. to be able to really, really keep it as energy efficient and be able to reduce the water and the power consumption all at the same time. Okay. So what we've done here is made a solid door that will be able to keep all of your airflow inside and keeping and retaining the heat. And of course, with glass, it can actually escape. So with this, we're making sure that everything is incorporated inside. No matter how inside. isolated it is, with glass, it could uh, Still, escape. Yeah, this is why we have to do things like double glazing when it comes to the washing machines. Yep. So in other words, the glass doesn't get hot and won't scold little children's hands or, or anyone else either. It's this all thinking reason. about the family at mind at the end of the day. We're always look at, looking to be able to make these products and this technology to suit the customer's needs. So, uh, Ferdinand, just in case that you are someone who likes to uh, observe uh, clothes getting washed, then the washing machine is going to be the washing machine is the one that's going to be the hypnotic one. As for the dryer, uh, Adam has just explained, it, it is well, the reason not such a practical thing to have. And of course, there's no indentation on either the dryer or the washing machine, unlike many other brands. Yeah. And a great another feature, especially with the family, is that it means children cannot put their foot in and climb up on top of the device and on, on top of your counters. So every little detail has been thought about here at Panasonic when it came to our research and development on these products. I never said anything else than that. I know. There's, there's been a reason. And then there's always a reason. Yeah, that makes totally sense. I mean, just uh, close the little door down here. Oh, it's okay, I haven't put the... Oh, you haven't? See, now it works. Perfect, Ferdinand, this, has, uh, this is your answer. Continuing with the question coming from Gabor. Gabor would like to know, is steam technology more environmentally friendly? It is environmentally is it? friendly, yeah, absolutely, because we're speeding up the washing and the drying process. And because we're speeding it up, yep. we're using less power. Less power, less energy consumption. Okay, that makes sense. Less energy consumption, less money for our bills. So a simple yes to uh, Gabor's question on this behalf, continuing with our question from Silkworm. Silkworm would like to know, is there a setting for silk on your washers and dryers? Let, yes. me, let, let me just discover it for myself. Yes. Yes. Zyda is like silk. And how about on these ones? Uh, uh, wait. Uh, others? The no, great thing find about it these automatically. is with most conventional condenser dryers, the temperature is going to be around about 90 to 100 degrees. When it comes to heat pump technology, the average is between 60 and 69. With Panasonic's inverter technology, we can fluctuate the power. 
we can change the temperature and we can actually range all the way from a 45 degree all the way up to a 69 degree dry. It shouldn't be any warmer for silk, okay. And the great thing is that means a 45 degree, silk, wool, and other delicates as well. So these have all been thought about on these machines. But how come that I haven't discovered it on this one here? Because that was easy, it's, it's uh, set directly. Yes. Where, where, where's it to be found here? On this one, oh, you're testing ah. my German now, aren't you? So we no, got- Zyder would be the basic. We got shirt, shirt plus. We got business. business and we got fresh. So with the fresh one, uh, 40 degrees as well, we can do it's a like low fast. temperature. No, yep. flat is like leisure. Ah, so so that's, the, that's your rapid one then. And yep. then with the steam technology, we'll be able to bring that down as well. Um, these are just sort of, these are actually uh, going to be changed slightly before they come to market. So believe me, it will be there. Okay. Uh, this is like kind of a disadvantage of having like a fair here. and yes. uh, having We can get a bit of feedback before these are properly launched. Of course, this one's just launched and this one is on its way currently. And uh, all these are uh, still uh, can be slightly changed before they come to the market, which is the great thing about Panasonic. We're always working to make the best products. So this is the reason. And here's another poll that we have in between where we wanted to know the next thing on my shopping list is, is it a new clothes dryer, a new steam iron, or a new washing machine? What do you think? What is it that people need the most? It was a new, sorry, washer. It was a new clothes dryer. Yes. A new steam iron or a new washing machine. Ooh, well, your washing machine and tumble dryer would last quite a lot longer. Um, possibly the iron, um, but I'm going to say the washing machine because the washing machine is a lot of fun, uh, especially with the new steam technology. You were able to watch it, right? No, 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 no. Because, I'm, the, I'm, yeah, I'm back because here. the final result is that indeed it's 67%. Um, uh, the next thing on their shopping list is a new washing machine and only 11% are going for the dryer. Right, okay, that's interesting. I mean, especially because we've been talking about energy consumption all week and trying to save power on these products. And maybe the reason that people are uh, changing them over is that their current product may not be energy efficient. And of course, these are A++ triple plus energy rated, or in the tumble dryer case, uh, cases, a minus 60%. Yeah, but then again, also like sometimes it just feels that people are like, you know, it's gonna be sufficient just to dry it like that. Yeah. But to the washing, the washing machine apparently is more important. But wait, just to finish up that silk warm uh, story, just wanted to make sure because of the silk. Yes. Because you've been asking for uh, washing machines and dryers. But apparently, yes, if the dryer is supporting uh, the, extra Yes, we can do wool and everything else as well, not a problem. Fine Vesha ah. would be it, Fine Vesha probably. So I hope this uh, covers your need. Silk warm, thank you. Continuing with uh, a hot topic. James, tell us something about the product range. I mean, we mentioned it before, uh, already. There's a variety. There is a variety. Started. So, of course, we do an introductory uh, uh, B-series washer. Um, that's going to come with all your basic programs and your basic drums. We then do a G-series washer. That's going to come with that Zanzan Army drum that we spoke about earlier on in the week. Yes. And with the inverter technology, that's where it really starts to kick into the range. And then the top of the line will be the X-series. And the X-series comes with... a uh, different drum sizes, of course, just like the rest of the range, and also with a specialist display, meaning that you're never going to need your instruction manual ever again, because everything's built into the machine, and we'll tell you exactly how it works. Which one is the X then? The X is of the one course. with the chrome rims. So of course. We've got the. Uh, we've got so the that makes it an X because it has a chrome rim. This will be an X version with steam, so they're making it Z. So anything with uh, with the steam will rather have S or Z depending on the model, and then for the washers, it's B. G and X. Okay. okay. So this means we have how many models? And oh, we've got lots of models currently because they come in different uh, drum sizes. So e eight kilo, ten kilo. They also come in uh, different spin revolutions. So fourteen hundred, sixteen hundred, or even sometimes a twelve hundred spin as well. So once again, different products for each individual need. All right, then uh, James, thank you for that hot topic. Coming to a question uh, from. Um, Laura, Laura would like to know, do your dryers have the same drum as your washers? Well, we just spoke about the Zanzan Army drum, didn't we, earlier yes, on we in did. the week? And the benefit of the Zanzan Army drum, so let's open up no, the washer. No, it doesn't. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, it, it doesn't have like the dots. Yes, it got the dots and what have you, and then also with... See, oh, it doesn't come with the dots with, like the washing machine. Oh, but that's to take the water out. Oh, of course. What we do with the three, uh, 3D air circulation on the dryers is it actually takes the air out, the moist air, through an evaporator and through a condenser. So it is the same drum. It's exactly the same. Except that it doesn't have the... the it's the, the special, the yes, exactly, the special okay. anti-crease technology. So with the Zanzan Army drum on both the tumble dryers 
and on the G and the X series and the steam washers. Maybe, maybe as you well. want to have a look inside. Want to have a look inside? This is what it looks like in a washing machine, and this is what it looks like in a dryer. So yes, depending on the models, we do use exactly the same top and drum. And as I say, the reason we put the uh, the holes in the washing machine is so the water can uh, escape a lot quicker, and that means that we can keep it eco-friendly as well. Okay, then Alara, thank you for your question. We're coming now to Andrew Milton, who would like to know, how do you weight your washing machines? I'm sick and tired of lodging heavy washers whenever I move house. Well, of course, you need to have your washing machine weighted because the last Otherwise thing you just say, well, like, go dance for, around your Absolutely, your apartment. go for a walk through the kitchen when you're not home and then pull out all your appliances right. and all your mains. So, um, you know, we want to be eco-friendly at Panasonic. So we've really, really thought about this at the end of the day. And, you know, some companies will use other materials. What we're using is what's called a high-impact resin. And high-impact resin is actually recycled TVs. So they melt the TVs down. They, uh, they've created a new composite called high impact resin, and it's very, very dense and very heavy. So it's ideal for weighting the machine, for reducing vibrations, and also to keep it silent. But it doesn't stop there, because after the light time of your washing machine, um, you can actually recycle the washer, and they take the high impact resin out, they will melt it down, and then it will become an eco-friendly coffee cup. But what type of television have been used? Like the old Bob ones or the, the flat screens? We're always looking to be able to develop. Of course, with this composite, it is uh, sort of recycled uh, TVs at the end of the day. So you so never know next time that you buy like a Panasonic washing machine, you might also have bought an old flat screen. Absolutely. It could have been your old TV Added from years and years and years ago. So it's always about keeping the life cycle of the product and making it as eco-friendly as possible. Okay. So it comes by from, uh, by, from its nature that, of course, a washing machine needs to be weighted. Yes. So it's not really just to cause you any uh, problems whenever you're just moving uh, houses, but uh, there's a reason why for it. But still, there has also been some development Absolutely. on that on Trying that to save behalf. the planet and keep them as eco-friendly as possible. So, Andrew, hope that you also will find a place to stay for a little bit longer then. Uh, but thank you for your question. Continuing with a question from Emily. Does it reduce the amount of ironing if I use this setting? Well, that, that's it. She doesn't really uh, is precise about the setting, but perhaps she's uh, referring Maybe to the about steam. steam because yeah. it is the hot topic that we've been talking about today. Exactly. Uh, so yes, it yes. does absolutely always reduces your creases and your crinkles, and this is why we've added the steam because as we found with the iron, steam actually reduces all your creases, and that's why we make them steam irons, and that's why we've now incorporated it into the washers and into the dryers to be able to reduce your iron in time and then reduce the amount of creases. So pretty much uh, that's it. Yes, you can, dear Emily, and thank you for your question. Continuing with a question coming from uh, John Roberts. What are the arches? What are the arches and the sides of the machines for? The that arches. I know. Oh, right. Okay, this okay. pattern on this pattern on the side. No, no. We, Mark, it's fine. Mark, it's fine. We, we have our colleague Mark who's like uh, chasing away like people so that we have enough space here just to show you everything. These arches, this pattern on the side, I w was also very uh, curious about them. I'll leave you for this show. You're becoming the expert now. I become so. the expert. Is they are made to reduce the vibration, therefore also the noise that uh, the machine is uh, producing. The way the arches are being developed is to dissipate all of your vibrations, making it nice and easy. So absolutely, we want to keep these products as quiet as possible as well. The last thing you want in some people's uh, living rooms, they may have to put their washing machines or maybe their tumble dryers. Right. So we want to make them as quiet as possible. And this is why they are the quietest machines on the market. But it's interesting because like, usually, you know, I would never go to, into a store and just ask for the sites what they, they look for. You just think it's part of the design. Right. But it looks great. And there's a purpose to it as well, and that's the whole point of there's it. There's a purpose, Panasonic. and it also looks good. I think like the purpose is uh, the the prime uh, uh, issue there when it comes to uh, building a washing machine. Then, so John, uh, I hope I gave you the right answer. Apparently, yes, I did. Yes, absolutely. Yes, I did. Right, Thank John. you, John, for your question. Continuing with a question coming from Matthew Jenkins, who would like to know how advanced are, is your washer dryer technology, considering you are new to the market. Maybe I should ask, maybe I should like modify this question. Are you really that new to the market? We're not new to the market. We're, we're a little bit new to the European market. Yep. Um, we've been here since 2009. Um, we started with a couple of washers and a couple of fridge freezers and now the range is so popular that we've had to expand it exponentially. 
But actually, but why is that? I mean, every nation needs uh, now some clean clothes. So we always, as I the... say, we tailor the products to the individual. So we've been looking at Europe for quite a while now about what the consumer needs for their own home environment. Would, would, would you be able just to compare it? Like, let's say, like, what is it that the Americans are using in comparison to Europeans? Well, uh, you think at the end of the day, uh, where I was living in the States, everyone used to use top loaders. Yep. Like, everyone prefers to use a top loader washing machine. Um, here for in a particular uh, reason? Just, just for the sake of it? Yeah, I, I guess you get used to routine. Being then. on That's top of it. There yeah. we go. That's more than likely. But for us, we like to have front loaders. Not saying that we're never going to bring out top loaders, but in Europe we've found that the front loaders are the most popular. But if you look at our heritage, where we may be making them in Japan for oh, just over 60 years now. So actually our heritage, our research and our development, and also we wanted to create factories that would be ideal just for Europe. And these factories need to be eco-friendly as well because we are striving to be the most eco-friendly company on the planet. For the year 2018 and oh. the 100th anniversary of Panasonic. There we I go. Know. So, uh, Matthew, this is uh, your reply and 60 years. 60 years is a pretty it's good history. It's far from being a newbie then. No, absolutely. But as I say, 2009 from Europe and it's just getting bigger and better. Actually, how can you do? How can you really say like, if a washing machine is better than any other? Can I just go into a store? Can I go directly to Panasonic, come in with a dirty shirt, and ask you kindly to wash it? Or you, you won't be able to come down to the office and ask us to wash your shirts. No, but what, when you? it comes to a television, it's quite easy. You just stand you in front it. of it, and then you're like, yeah, I like it. No, I don't like it. But well, to a washing machine, is the result that takes a little bit longer than just a look at it. Well, of course. Just like the displays we've got here, we're always working very, very closely with the companies that sell these products. And we want to make their life as easy as possible selling these products. So we do have specialist demo modes that when you'll be able to go down to store, maybe not be able to take your dirty laundry down there, but they will be able to show you just how that fantastic technology works. Okay, well, just to, to know in between. So Matthew, thank you for your question. Coming to the next one uh, by a guest. So you also have a combination of washing machine and a tumbler dryer can you recommend such machines in general i mean they're known to be consuming quite a lot of those those uh, machines that are offering two uh the two uh, sides washing and drying yeah. so does panasonic offer uh, such a, a washer dryer a yeah. built, a one, all in one yeah that's where our concept comes in um so we are looking at washer dryers as i say we're always expanding the range but we want to make sure it's ideal for the market so at the moment, we are not releasing a washer dryer here at IFA, but we are looking into it, and we have got the concepts as well. There is your answer. Thank you for that question, guest. Uh, coming now to Bill. I can see a wheel dial on the machines, and there's an LCD display. Do, you, do I have to be a rocket scientist to operate these machines? No, not whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, I should try it, and then you'll see if it's going to be that easy. Well, as you said, yeah. I mean, you, you was able to read the displays off quite easily. And um, as you can see on some of them, it will actually tell you all about them as well. It's off. It's turned off. So uh, I think you don't need to be a scientist in order just to know that it's Let's off. have a look. Uh, this one's ideal. So we, we, we go back to this one. So as you can see, it's actually illuminating everything at the front with the specialist um, uh, display here. But actually, when you choose your settings, it will tell you what the ideal weight and clothing is for that wash cycle. Yep. So we'll actually indicate that all on this screen. And from here, you'll be able to choose whether it's spin or spin dry or uh, your timing options, uh, your, your RPMs of how fast the machine's going to work. And then it also indicates exactly what clothes you'll be able to put in for that particular wash cycle. So no, you no NASA science degree needed. All you've got to be able to do is read the display. I think that's quite easy, isn't it? So Bill, this is your answer. Coming to the next one, a uh, question coming from Karim E. Is there any stainless steel washing machines? Stainless steel on the outside? Yeah. Uh, we, we, of course, we're always trying to tie our products into each other. We've not got a complete stainless steel, um, but just like the X-Series here, it's the stainless steel around the drum. But, of course, we're never going to say never because, of course, you've been seeing different concepts here at IFA, and we are looking into what are the most popular colors, and whatever uh, a European uh, consumer chooses is what Panasonic will be launching. I see. The thing is, like, we're just going to come into the last and final question for this segment. Right. What about the concept? Are we going to show it here now? Well, we to spoke about different colors, didn't we? And we've yes. just been asked about stainless steel. And earlier on, we got asked about different color irons. So what we're showing here at IFA is actually a brand new concept. So we've been shown uh, the white and the different rooms. And then we've got our washer dryer concept. So this is heat pump technology once again. So in other words, it's uh, reducing your power consumption. And how great's that display, hey? We talked about ease of use. 
Well, this is a touchscreen display, and as you can see, it's actually showing you with the Stain Master. Because the great thing about oh, actually, I can, I can I can tell them like what kind of stains I do have on my shirts. Absolutely, just like the X Series washer, you'll be able to tell the washing machine I have uh, mud or I have grass, and then it will change the temperature, and it also change the way it puts the detergent in to make sure it takes the stain out as quick and as easy as possible. But this is the brand new style one. We're not saying that it's going to come out. We're just showing it here at Efa to be able to get everyone's reactions to see just what they think and whether or not we saw the uh, the concept black fridge freezer uh, yesterday. And so now we're going to show off the lovely black washer dryer, which will hopefully match everything in your home. But it's you've good got size. It. You could also put it into a, a living room. It looks fantastic. I mean, judging it? on the G German television uh, program, uh, sometimes I think this could be even more interesting. But that's a, d that's a different thing. Uh, but I definitely will go for one of these. Oh, and the thing is, like, the last question really fits perfectly to this concept here. Will you be doing laundry products in any other color than uh, white? That's what Stephen Johnson would like to know. Well, apparently, this is... It's very, very possible, isn't it? If we're showing the concept here today, uh, it's a very good possibility that we could be bringing out black or maybe any other colors as well. You've been seeing the purple's been quite popular. Never say never. And, of course, stainless steel. What a fantastic idea. Well, Fitting the breakfast series that has also been released here at we the want, IFA. Yeah, we want a Panasonic, all your premium products to match and look, make your house look absolutely phenomenal. So there are a lot of things that are going to happen there. So thank you, John, uh, Mr. Johnson, Stephen Johnson, for your question. And that's it for this segment. We're going to have a little break and then going to be back uh, around uh, 3 o'clock. And it's going to be again about Lumix. So any queries, questions about uh, digital cameras from Panasonic, don't hesitate. Send us your questions, and I will be more than happy just to pass these on on an expert, as, for example, Adam here, who did a great job once again. Thank you so much. Thank you, Patrice. We'll be back here at Panasonic Live from uh, IFA 2012. Patrice Budibeda here just for you.